Hey fellas, welcome to part two of the Hasagawa 132nd scale P40 build. In this exciting episode, I throw some paint on it. It's going to be almost a wash, rinse, and repeat of the Spitfire build. Obviously different colors, but I am doing a hard edge, so it is slightly different. Uh, I also show you how I paint the shark's mouth on the front of it, and uh, it's, it's a lot better than dealing with those darn decals. Uh, and it's really not that hard. It may seem daunting to some of you newer guys, but uh, it's, it's, i show you how to do it. It's, it's fairly easy. So let's get on with the video. Trump 2020. So let's take a look at what we got. So I've got it in black primer. And before I get started, I had a viewer that uh, informed me that there is no panel line where the clear parts matched up to the fuselage. So I did have to take care of those, which I did. Uh, and then I primed it in black. So I've got it all nice and smooth. I used Mr. Surfacer 1500, and I took one of my micro mesh pieces of uh, sandpaper cloth, and I went along and wet sanded, got it all real smooth. So we've got a real nice smooth, smooth finish on the primer. And uh, next what I'm going to do, and this is something that I haven't, I've experimented with a little bit, but uh, I went ahead and did my marbling layer, in white and then I came back with a little bit of yellow now where you see I've got the marbling layer I'm going to use I'm going to uh, spray my green down and what I'm using for my green is gonna be FS34079 a dark green and then I've also gonna use the uh, I might use this green that I mixed up for the uh, Spitfire to kind of darken some areas if I need to and just add a little bit of variety to the green. Now I am going to use a hard edge camouflage on this one so I'm going to mask all this area up but so for what I'm doing is for the uh, the brown color I've got this FS30219 or RLM79 that I mixed up and once I get the green painted, I'm going to mask off the green areas and then I'll come back and I think I'm going to use like a dark brown and spray a dark brown down and then marble in something maybe other than white. I don't know. I might use white. But in my opinion, this this tan color looks a little too... Uh, the black kind of washes it out and it doesn't it doesn't really make it pop like I want to. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna put down a, a brown color once I get the green masked off. <clears throat> See how that works. And uh, and then go from there. And as you can tell, I've, I'm gonna start on the top. I normally start on the bottom, but because I went ahead and put on the landing gear, it's just gonna be easier to mask off the, uh, the upper surfaces and then paint the, the gray color on the bottom with this uh, rear landing gear piece on. So that's how I'm handling that. So I will uh, get this green down, we'll mask it off and go from there. So I've got the green down and I'm starting to mask it off, uh, but I forgot to tell you that uh, what, I, what I'm doing along the wing root and the leading edge, just like I did on the Spitfire, is I use some AK Extreme Metal Aluminum because I'm gonna do some scratches and some chipping. And, and I also uh, put some AK, I'm sorry, Ammo MIG scratches effects on there as well. So when I want to scratch that up, I'll just add water and uh, use a brush and a toothpick and I can chip this area up. But uh, what I'm doing now is I'm masking this off and how I'm doing it is I'm using some Tamiya tape for curves. It's a elastic-y type tape. And then I'm coming over it with some regular Tamiya tape and I don't have to fill in every little spot. But just to give you an idea how I'm doing this, is I will take my Tamiya tape, and then I'll take a sharp X-Acto blade, and I will just lightly cut the regular Tamiya tape away where it overlaps. And again, I don't have to cover all of it. I just want to keep, be able to come up right to the edge of this and spray my brown color or my tan. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, masking this off, get it all, all covered up as much as I need to. And then I'm gonna go along with some dark brown and spray probably the, uh, the panel lines and then come back in with some white or maybe even a deck tan and lighten up, do my marbling layer, and then we'll spray the tan down and we should be good to go. Hopefully this will turn out pretty good. I don't do this that often. I, a lot of, I do my a lot of my camo patterns freehand, but uh, from what I understand, they mask the camouflage off on these, so that's what we're doing here. All right, I'm gonna do a little uh, freehand camera work here, but I've got the brown on, covering the black, and then I took some white and just did a real loose marbling layer just to break up some of that color. Looks like I missed a <coughs> an area there on the, the front part, but I'll get that. Now I'm gonna go over it with the tan color and we'll see how it turns out. All right, let's take a look at it. So I'm pretty happy with how it looks. Now, the pre-shading that I did with the yellow on the, under the green, I don't know that it made that much of a difference to be quite honest with you. And uh, just and and with the brown undertone of the uh, the tan color, again, I don't know that it made that much of a difference. Uh, I did come back with a little bit darker shades and hit some areas like right along here, and and same way with the green. The bottom's done. I did some hand uh, hand painting some areas like down here. So we are ready to start doing the shark's mouth. And so what I've done is I've taken the decals and I've made a couple of color copies of the shark's mouth decals. Okay, I always like to make a few extra. Now I've got my Tamiya sticker sheet and what I'm doing is I'm just placing this on the sticker sheet and I'm gonna tape it up here and I'm gonna make some masks. So I can somewhat replicate. I'm not gonna be too concerned that it's exactly like this, the, uh, the decal. <coughs> but uh, I do want it fairly close. So you want a sharp X-Acto knife. Uh, I always put a fresh blade in with each, time, each, each one that I do. I'm just gonna come along here and I'm gonna go along the outside. So I'm cutting through the paper and the sticker sheet. So I'm just going along the outside All right, so then what I can do is I've got some This is transfer tape that I use for my Cricut. I'm just going to put this on here so I can transfer this up. It just makes it easier to handle if you've ever tried to lift a bigger piece of, ooh, I got a hair in there, fellas. Uh, if, if you try to get a bigger piece of this to me, a sticker sheet and put it on something without having something like this, it, it, it bends and twists and uh, becomes more of a pain in the butt than, than anything. So I'll set this aside and I'm gonna label this. This is the right side. Just so I don't forget, I'll figure it out eventually, but okay. Now I'm going to take the teeth and I'm going to make a mask of the teeth. See if this will fit. 
fit on here like so, so I can not waste sticker sheet. Yeah, I think this will work. I'll just use a new piece. I'm gonna make a mask of the sticker sheet. I'm gonna basically do it the same way. And there may be easier ways to do this. This is just what's worked for me in the past and whatever works for you. But I'm just showing you that this can be done. And although it's a little more work to mask and paint, it's a lot better result than trying to get that stupid decal to I keep wanting to call it a sticker, that stupid decal from to conform and do all kinds of crazy things on the plane. And uh, with that, that P40 that I did before, the, the decal kind of broke and cracked and it was just a nightmare. Total nightmare, fellas. Okay. A new X-Acto blade. So now I'm just gonna come along and I'm going to cut the teeth and when you do this you want to extend the cut just a little beyond the edge like right there otherwise it doesn't seem to cut all the way through All right, so now what I'm going to do, uh, hopefully I can do this on camera, but I'm going to, I've got my uh, decal sheet right here. So I'm going to try to align this silhouette that I've cut out along where the decal would go. Man, this is a lot more complicated on camera than what it is in, in out of camera. I'm going to cut away some of this so I don't have this butt button into something. Okay. Now this is, I'm going to end up pulling this off, but this is going to help me align where this, where all my masking is going to go. I think that looks good right there. Now the tricky part's gonna be getting the other one aligned as well. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's where my mask is going to go. I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's about where it should be. Now I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask off the area around my silhouette. And you're thinking, well, can't you just use the uh, this? Well, I guess you could, but I find that it, it's a lot neater if you do it with strips of tape. So I've got my Infini cutting mat out here. And I've cut it in real thin strips. And what I'm gonna do Gotta find the sticky side. It always gets to be kind of a pain when you get these real narrow strips. Get this out of the way. 
get my tweezers in here. So I'm just masking around with this real thin strip. If you don't have an Infinity cutting mat, you need to get one. One of my favorite tools. Okay. Now once that's down, I can lift my silhouette up. Okay, now I'll go ahead and use another thin strip and mask off this area and then I'll mask all around it and I'll spray my white. Okay, now I've got the white put down and I've already masked off this side. What I found was easier was to go ahead and slice these in half. And again, it doesn't matter if it's exact, as long as we're pretty close. And let's try to get this aligned. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we'll know when we peel it, <laughs> peel it off after we get the paint laid down. Okay. Now, for the teeth right along here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some pieces of tape and cut out some triangles and mask off this area rather than try to, to uh, cut it out from the decal. So I think that'll just be a lot easier than uh, trying to cut the small little teeth out of the decal. We'll just go ahead and cut those out with a piece of uh, tape. So let me get this other one on here. And the next color I'm going to lay down is red. Trying to get this lined up as best as possible. Well, 
mess of again. There we go. Okay. Now I am going to have to go around <clears throat> and mask along the edges, like right down here, to make sure that I don't have any paint go through on the other side of my teeth. So, and that's just going to be kind of like what I did here. I just took strips of tape and mask those off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some red right along here. I'll mask that off, then spray some black, and we should be able to lift it up. Now, to uh, get the outline, I'll show you how I do that. And you can do it in a number of different ways. And I thought about using one of my markers to do it, but uh, you guys probably won't have those uh archival ink markers. So I'll show you how to do it with masking. It's a little bit neater and I might mess up with a marker because I had two cups of coffee and my hands kind of shaky today. Alrighty, fellas. Uh, now, I've got it all done and I pulled my mask off. Now, I kept the little strips of tape and there's a reason that I'm doing that. It's because I'm going to use this as my black outline. <clears throat> so, I'm going to pull off some more strips of tape and I'm going to mask off on either side of that initial strip. And then I will lift up this mask or the uh, strip of tape in the center and then spray it black and then I should have a nice neat black line and this is gonna be rather difficult on camera so I will probably get this all masked up off camera and then uh, let you see the result but you get the idea. Ooh, I got a little goober. So again, I'm going to use these strips of tape, mask off either side, then lift up my initial strip, and then spray it black. And I should have a nice, neat outline. All right, let's take a look. <coughs> Excuse me, at the finished product. And there we go. Let me grab the decal here real quick. So you can see it's pretty darn close. The outline's a little bit wider, but that's okay. Uh, they, there was a, a variation in all these. I think they were all hand done. So I don't think uh, any two of these were the same. But uh, I think it's a, a lot better than uh, trying to put this darn decal on there and then trying to get it in the panel lines and so, and it really wasn't that difficult, just a little time consuming. And uh, so there we go. I'm going to get on with painting the insignias and uh, I will see you on the next episode.